Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 6 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. In this video I will show you how to save the sign up form data to the database. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. Let's create a new database for our project. Right click on your website name and select add, and click add new item. Select SQL Server Database. Name your database and click OK. Click yes to create a app data folder. Now our database is created. Now we need to create a table to store all the form data. In server explorer, expand your database, right click on tables. Select add new table. Our first column is always the ID column. Set it identity and primary key property to true. Next column is for username. Select its data type and varchar max. In this way create all the columns. Then name your table and click update. So we created our database, now we need to connect our database to the project. So to do this we need a connection string in web.config file. The easiest way to create a connection string is. Open your web form. Drag and drop the table from server explorer to the web form. Immediately press the delete key to delete the code. Now we can see the connection string in web.config file. You can manually type the connection string but this is the easiest way. Now open the design view of sign up form. Double click the sign up button to create a button event. Inside this we create our code to save data to the database. In order to connect to the database we need to add reference to the SQL client and configuration. In button click event. Create a new string to retrieve our connection string from web.config file.
paste the connection string name here. Create a SQL connection object. With the help of using, we don't need to close the connection. So we can avoid connection errors. Inside that pass the connection string. Then, create a new command object to insert the data into the database. Inside that pass the SQL query. To get values from the controls, use single quote double quote and plus sign. Inside that add the control name. Then pass connection object name. Here open the connection. Here we insert data to database so we use the execute non-query method. Now run our project. Fill the details. Click sign up. Now check the table if we successfully inserted our data. Now we need some validation to our form. Change the text mode property of password text box to password. Also change the text mode property of email. Add a new label control to display validation messages. In some cases we get an error regarding the JavaScript. When you need to add the ASP.NET validation controls. So to solve this, 
I came across a solution from Stack Overflow. We need to the code to our global asax file. So to add a global file. Right click on your website name select add, click global application class. In the application start event paste the code. Now let's add some validation to our code. Create a if statement to check whether the controls are empty or not. And in the else part change the label text to show the error. Instead of null we can change to empty string. In some cases null doesn't work. Run our project. If we submit with empty conral, we get an error. Also we need another if statement to check both passwords are same. Now run the project. Now all the validations are working fine. Change label color to red. Add a reference to the drawing to add color. Also we need a confirmation in our successful database entry. And change its color to green. Now we successfully saved our data to the database. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you, see you in the next episode.